Hi, everybody. Katie Harris here from Philly Wellness Center. And what if I told you that your mitochondria, which are, which is your body's energy factories, love certain fats, but absolutely refuse to burn others or only in the most severe cases, right? And that's and the ones that they hate are the, the exact fats that most Americans eat every day. Um, so your mitochondria are these tiny powerhouse um, energy factories inside every cell. And they decide how much energy you burn, how much, how fast you're going to lose weight, um, how sharp your brain feels, even how you age, right? So the, the secret that nobody's really told you, though, is that fats, all fats aren't created equally, right? Some fats are going to burn clean energy and give you energy, while others are going to cause oxidative stress, inflammation, and mitochondrial damage. So, you know, that is um, really kind of the foundation of, of what we need to look at. But because the fats that your mitochondria love are your saturated fats. These are stable, non-inflammatory fats found in things like butter, eggs, beef, right? All the things that they've told us not to eat for all these years. Um, but this is the stuff that the mitochondria can actually use, right? Cocoa butter, coconut oil. Um, these for, these fats are going to burn easily. They're going to burn clean. They can't oxidize because saturated fat doesn't have what we call double bonds. They don't have um, any bonds whatsoever. It's the bond, the chemical bonds that get oxidized. And you have that in mono unsaturated fats, right? That's a, a you have one uh, double bond there that can get oxidized. Uh, less so than polyunsaturated fats, which have multiple bonds, right? So they have three, four, six uh, double bonds. And those double bonds are what break and oxidize easily. So saturated fat has none whatsoever. So even if you cook at high temperatures, you can't oxidize saturated fat because it doesn't have any double bonds. So it makes it a very, very powerful um, and steady type of energy. So... Now, your mitochondria will also love monounsaturated fats. So that's your olive oil, avocado oil, macadamia nuts, because they're stable and easy to burn. And yes, they can oxidize, but uh, it's harder to oxidize um, monounsaturated fats because they only have a single bond. But the fats that your mitochondria don't like and they absolutely hate as a fuel source because they're not meant to be a fuel source are polyunsaturated fats and especially your omega-6 seed oils. So, you know, like soybean, canola oil, sunflower, safflower oil, peanut oil, unfortunately. So these oils break apart easily during cooking and they break apart easily inside your cells. And if your mitochondria try to burn them, then they create these toxic molecules like 4-HNE or uh, melandialdehyde. These are chemicals that damage the cell membranes, your DNA and your metabolism. So linoleic acid is an interesting one because it's vital, right? You have to have linoleic acid in your blood, uh, in your body. And it's it's absolutely vital, right? So your, your body wants linoleic acid. The problem is, is that your body only wants a little bit, <laughs> you know, just a very, very small amount, like less than 1% linoleic acid, uh, omega-6, to help for a uh, building structure inside the cell. But when you have a diet that's 40% linoleic acid instead of 1%, then it, it's causing problems. So what happens is the body will store because it can't, it doesn't really want to use it as a fuel source because it, it oxidizes and creates all those toxic chemicals. So your body will store it in fat cells instead of burning it because it's too dangerous because um, it, it oxidizes too much. So if your your diet is high in omega-6, your mitochondria can't burn efficiently and then you feel tired and flame hungry and stuck. Um, but also when you build cell membranes with omega-6 instead of omega-3, because there's an abundance of omega-6, you get kind of paper thin, weak cell membranes that structurally don't belong there. So that, that causes a whole nother um, set of issues as well. But if you get the mitochondria, the fats they love, the clean saturated fat, your monounsaturated fats, then your engine, your metabolic engine turns back on. So it, it's that counterintuitive idea of, you know, we've been told to stay away from saturated fats for some reason, despite the fact that that's what the cell membrane is made up of. It's made up of cell, it's made up of saturated fats and the mitochondria need saturated fats to burn energy for the body. So, um, 
it, it seems kind of silly to say it out loud, but you need saturated fats, right? Like you have to have saturated fats in your diet. And if, and if you're vegan, and we'll talk about this in another video, you have problems, right? And that's the, the core stem of your problems is going to be the lack of saturated fat, unless you're being very, very intentional about it. And there is ways to be intentional about it. So we want to swap out seed oils, fried oils, restaurant oils. Uh, unfortunately, any restaurant you go to is going to use um, seed oils in, in cooking, unless you're going to a, like a Michelin three type restaurant and, and they're telling you that they're using tallow for cooking or butter. Uh, but anyway, your mitochondria will thank you for this. You will feel a huge difference when you start using saturated fat uh, as a fuel source instead of omega-6. So if you want to help fix your uh, metabolism, hormones, inflammation, or energy, you can book a, a consult with us at Philly Wellness Center because this is what we do. We rebuild your health at the cellular level. Uh, I would also really encourage you to add saturated fats into your diet uh, to help support your cell membrane. All right, that's it for this video. I will see you in the next one.